Look, stop with the antics, Jonathan. All right. At this point, there is no me and you. There is no competition, bro. You was like under my boot heel at this point. You know, that's exactly where you are. So while you would even make another video, I get it. They pumped you up. You know, you feel punked and then they teasing you and stuff like that. I get it. I get it. But see, first and foremost, this is one of the big things you're going to have to explain while you're over there talking about uh, you combat Jack and all that shit, right? First, you're going to have to explain to your subscriber base why I have a copy of this comment, which is mine. But this comment seems to be nowhere on your video. How are you going to explain that to them? See, round and round and round we go, Jonathan, because you did the exact same thing you did the first time, which got you in this predicament. OK, I posted something on your channel addressing you like a man. Remember that? Like a man. And you deleted it. OK, I wrote it again and you deleted it. I wrote it a third time and you deleted it again. So I put it in my community post to smoke you out because I know it's going to make you look like a bitch. I knew that. So you had to come to me. Everything you've done has been engineered by me. All of it. You have done everything that I have forced you to do. Period. You're moving to my drum beat. Do you know that? But anyways, this comment right here, once again, I left on your Combat Jack video. I'm the toughest man in the world. So claim, you know, I left it right there. And what'd you do again? You deleted it again. So now it's up here so everybody can read it once again. Once again, round and round we go, Jonathan. This is the same shit that got your ass punked the first time. I've already did everything to you that I wanted to do. I wanted to come through and crush your empire. I wanted to come through, embarrass you, punk you in front of your subscriber base. Everybody was there to see it and witness it. That's why you spent half your live stream defending your manhood. No, he didn't punk me. No, what are you talking about? Stop playing. Then I watched your boyfriend sit up there and delete comments where your own people were saying, hey, man, Bruce punked you. Where your balls at, Johnny? Damn, you got hold. Damn, you just straight up got son. I watched y'all police the live stream and delete all those little comments. I was sitting back laughing, cooking. All right. So, man, stop with this. There is no me and you. All right. Because you wasn't that tough on the phone. See, there's something you got to say about a man who talked tougher on YouTube than when he's on the phone with the man. You was on the phone with me. You had no bass in your voice, Jonathan. You apologized. Okay? That's what you did. You apologized. And then I called you again and told you to take that video down. And now I'm the one that put up the video. That's got to be some silly. I'm not even going to address that because... All your subscribers and all y'all over there in Jonathan, little gay boy land, all of y'all are playing dumb. OK, I, I sat up there and I listened to the tension in the live stream when they, when they sit up there and they went and watched my video and heard what I said and came back and tried to create an excuse for you. They knew you did it. They knew it. But all y'all going to sit up there and play dumb. But they know I got your whole card. Like I said, you want to get your manhood back. I got it right here. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no competition. How you going to fight somebody with no head? Okay, you've been scalped. You've been sunned. I mean, let's just be real here. Fanon has a better chance of causing some physical fear in a fight to me than you would. That's how soft you are since y'all say I'm a LDBC undercover. How, how you like them apples? Okay? Fanon, Fanny Nanny, okay, got more of a chance of making me feel some fear than you. And this is how I know for a fact you feel like the bitch in the situation. You feel like the inferior one in the situation. Because look at this comment here. Now, see, this is what it's all about right here. Oh, the big black guy is picking on the poor little white kid. He's racist. Dude, do you know how? Listen, first of all, it's racist to even say that I'm racist because I'm picking on you because you are white. So basically, you're telling me you're playing the victim and you are the victim simply because I'm the big, bad black guy and you're the innocent little white boys getting picked on. My brother, this is YouTube, not the schoolyard. What do you mean the white guy getting picked on? Are you serious? If this doesn't go to show the yellow belly jelly that you got in your heart, I don't know what does. OK, because this shows me right here that you feel like the weak one. You feel like the one that's getting picked on. You feel like the one that's fragile. 
Okay, so when you're talking all that tough guy stuff and you got stuff like this in your comment section, you look pretty stupid. Yeah, they're just picking on the white boy. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the nerve to call me racist. I'm only considered a bully to you because I'm black. And the horrible part is y'all can't even see my complexion. Y'all don't even see my skin. OK, and that just goes to show you how much y'all concerned with my skin tone. Like I said, it's not about boxing with you guys. It's about race. OK, because I guarantee you, if I wasn't black, you wouldn't be uh, a victim and I wouldn't be a bully. But since I'm black and you're white, I'm the bully and you're the victim. Man, get the, the at this point, pull yourself together because you're just digging yourself a bigger hole. How are you going to explain these comments right here? This lets me know how you feel. This is why when you talk tough, it don't mean nothing, Jonathan. So go on with your life, okay? Your manhood is on my dresser, and you're not getting it back. I took it, okay? You wasn't man enough. So go on with your little live streams, bitch about Mayweather, um, suck off a of super chest, or do whatever it is that you do. But one thing's for sure, we are not in competition, Okay, you are not on my level. You have been disintegrated. All right. Like I said before, bitch, be gone. It's not hard. Move on with your life. Okay, because after this, I don't even know how you can still breathe. You sit up here and use your skin tone as a crutch. Okay, so by basically telling me that you're the white kid, that's equivalent to me picking on somebody in a wheelchair. That's basically what you're saying. You know, and look at this comment right here. See, it proves it all right here. This comment right here proves it all what I've been talking about. See, they'll have a problem with you even if you um, give a compliment to a black fighter. You know what I'm saying? That's you guys problem. Just look at this silly ass scenario. This got and cooked up here. I dissed the LDBC in order to be able to talk about. Manny Pacquiao and Vasily Lomachenko, two people that I have the least videos on. There's more videos on Wilder and PBC than anybody, but you're going to pick the two least boxers that are featured on my channel. You know why you guys say that? Because at the end of the day, you don't care what I'm saying. What matters is, is the complexion of the person whose mouth it's coming out of. Look how pathetic and sad this comment is that I dis one group so I can diss the other group as if I got to pretend and tiptoe around issues when everybody who knows my channel know that I don't tiptoe around no issue. It's pathetic. That's why I say it's funny to me. So when I sit and I listen to your video like, oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. Oh, I'm that. You wasn't that tough on the phone, Jonathan. That's the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me. I'm not amped up. I'm not animated. I'm not mad. Because my manhood is not took. Yours is. So you're going to act like that. But at the end of the day, you know what it is. Your subscriber base know what it is. They know you got hold. Me, you, and God know you got hold. And that's just the way it is. And you're going to have to live with that. So forever, your lifetime on YouTube, you will forever be known as the dude who Bruce Vane punked. Forever and ever and ever and ever. And that's how it is. You can go ahead and make you some more Rambo videos. But then again, you know what's going to happen, right? Then I'm going to call you, right? And then I'm going to ask for that work. And what you're going to do, probably end up apologizing again. Or probably not end up picking up the phone at all. Because when I was about that action that you're talking about in that video, you didn't want to go down that route, Jonathan. Not at all. So, so man, stop it. You say this is the last video, huh? So have this be the last video. Or are you going to let your uh, subscribers base geek you up again to get your face put back on the floor? You still picking up your teeth from the last time. <laughs> These guys, silly rabbit, man. Silly rabbit. And stop using your skin complexion as a crush. That shit don't work over here. Victim mentality ass hat motherfucker. Oh, yeah. And one more thing, man. I listen to you, how you talk to your people on your platform and stuff. And I've seen everybody that you supposedly, you know, had a problem with. And I noticed when you talk to them. You don't use the N word in reference. So being that you a person who believes I'm racist. So I guess you always have thought that. 
So when you was getting off your rocks and jollies, calling me the N-word, saying that you just a street kid and that's how you talk. But yet when I listen on your live stream, the N-word is nowhere in your dialect. But yet when it comes to me, you felt the need to inject that word in your speech. Why do you think that is? Now, see, this is what I really owe you for. And this is what I'm really going to take your head for. All this other boxing shit, you can do that. But you know that part, I'm dead serious about. Keep running your mouth. And when it comes to the NBBBC, we ain't fucking with you, bro. And that's on my word. Okay? That's on my word. Because you don't qualify. Okay? We don't link up with no prejudice, no racist people, no undercover cross burner community ass motherfuckers. We don't do that shit over here. So take you and your subscribers and y'all take y'all soft ass down the block. You don't want none of these problems over here. It's obvious. Jonathan. <laughs> oh, John Tell. <laughs> and why you over there crying? It's racist. It's racist. He's picking on me because I'm white and he's black. And it's the poor old white guy and this, this and that. You know what? Let's do some Bruce Vane trivia right quick before you guys leave. Who is Bruce Vane's favorite heavyweight out of everybody? Do you know who that is? Let me tell you. My favorite fucking heavyweight is Tommy Morrison. Second favorite is uh is uh Mike Tyson. But Tommy Morrison is my favorite heavyweight. Out of all the black boxers, out of all the Evander Holyfields, out of all the Buster Douglases, out of all that, it's Tommy Morrison. Okay? I have his picture on my Patreon page. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, like I said before. Stop using your skin color as a crutch, man, because it only lets me know how you look at yourself in this positioning when it comes to me versus you. And you look at yourself as the one being picked on. That makes me the bigger man. That makes me the bully on the yard. That makes me your daddy. That makes me the man that I said I was. I said daddy was going to come home and you did exactly what I asked you to do. You cleaned your room. Adios, motherfucker.